So, this is what's on the other side of the door. Hello everyone, SpikeMines here, and welcome back to another video! Uh... Seems like another elevator has lost its power. I can just kinda go this way. So, uh... Here's... Uh, seems to be turned off. So, we're... Hopefully, pretty much done the true lab. And then we're gonna move on to do something else. Probably. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This doesn't seem fun. This really doesn't seem fun. Hey! Stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Dr. Elvis. Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chip you had. And... Anyway. The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were the one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But, uh, I'd, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. And I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I, I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It, it's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again, probably. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Elphys. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. So, that's the true lab, I guess. Oh, it's entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? You know what happens? Flowey happens. And the flower's gone. Entry number 18, simply, the flower's gone. Flowey happened. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Alex, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Alex, I'm not Alex. See you soon. Oh! Oh, jeez! Uh, I think... I, I, I think I did that was Asriel and... Uh, Alex is not me, because Alex was first human. Okay, well, this is a familiar place. With no save point. There's no save points. Can there please be a save point? I would like that. Can, can there please be a save point? Please? I, I don't want to go through the long Elphys conversation again. That seems like it's 
not fun. Sorry about that, just adjusting my headset. Alright, is there anything different down here? That is the question. Wee, 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 wee. I'm going down. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Alex. Uh, sorry, there's just problems with headset. It's empty. That's where the first human's body was, and then it wasn't there. And I also figured out whenever you game over, that's actually a flashback of Asgore talking to the first human to st stay determined. Because I'm not Alex. Alex is the first human. That's my name. It's a throne. Can there not be just one save one? Okay, jeez. There was no save point. Maybe. The end. Alright. This... This is it. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. I know, you already talked to me about this. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue. I see. This is it then. Do I have to face Asgore again? If I have to face Asgore again, guys, I'm just gonna cut it out because. So I'm just gonna cut till after the fight, cause you guys already saw me fail with that. Goodbye! Wait a second guys, it's different! Firewall came, knocked him aside. Okay, it's different. Toriel! What a miserable creature torturing such poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic well you if you really wanted to be our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're wrong, you're right. Sorry, I need to do the voices. I'm a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? Sai, no, Asgore. Ah, yes, it's Undyne. Asgore, human, nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel, hello. Uh, there's two of them. Pirates! <laughs> Nobody fight anybody. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. <laughs> Look at that face. Hello? Oh, hello, your majesty. S hey, human did Asgore shave and clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh hey, I recognize your voice. Dude, I am Toriel, so nice to meet you. 
the name Sans, and, uh, same. Oh, wait, then this must be your brother, Pyrus. Greetings, Pyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie, I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Pyrus, what does a skeleton and tiles prove with? Hmm, snow proof roof tiles. No, silly. A skeleton, a skeleton tiles is roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Hey, come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> yeah, I get it, because that's a fish. Yeah, Asgore, that's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes it just kinda, uh, so stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's oddly specific. I I it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god, oh my god, is it Metaton? Do you two just smooch already? Smooch is in red. The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, uh, Al Alphys. No, no, he's right. Let's do it. Question marks? Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Wait, not in front of the human. Thank you, Toriel. Look at their faces, though. Uh, right, right, sorry, sorry. I, I got a little carried away there. Hey, hee hee hee, my child. Seems as if you must stay here a while, but looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. I think I will be, too. Hey, that reminds me. Pyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. flower help me uh-oh a tiny flower oh jeez oh jeez what? what the flowey flowey let's talk about this you idiots I you guys were having a little powwow I took the human souls now not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine. Hehehe. <laughs> you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Flower has found you, but why? Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls, the humans together. I will achieve my real form! Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? It's all just a game. If you beat the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. Then tear it away just before you grasp it. And over, and over. Hey, listen, you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back, I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied, but that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Really, Flowey? Even if it means killing you one million times. Flowey! Bad. Bad Flowey. Let's talk about this. <laughs> really? Really, Flowey? Oh? What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right. That's right, human. You can win just what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. 
if you got past me, you can do anything, so don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. Spinner's got nothing on you. He's a freaking flower. For the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Oh, all the people I say, Monster Kid, Walkin, the Mupp Muppet, Muppet's my favorite character. Oh, I see the greater dog. The greater dog's there to help me. Unbelievable! This can't be happening. I see Shyren. I see Froggit. I see one of the oil guards. I don't know who's behind the virus. You! You! Uh oh. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine! Oh jeez. Oh, oh, it's Snow Drake! That's who's behind the virus! Snow Drake! This is intense, man! Oh? Hello? 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 Hello, person? Hello? Can you turn around? Hello? Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. What? You're Asriel. Wait, Asriel was flower the entire time? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying to me, Asriel? You were, you were a flower. Howdy, Alex. Are you there? No, I'm not. I'm not Alex. It's me, your best friend. Asriel! I think that this is gonna have to be the end of this episode, too. So, uh, this is Spike Bond signing off. See you guys next time. Goodbye, dance party in the fight menu, like I did with Muffet. Goodbye! <laughs>